Okay, we're gonna start with this monitor here. As you can see, those are the doors that are open. It. Okay, I also have the same information into my screen. We can move information around. So we're gonna now gonna go up here at the front on the top, and we're gonna start. As you can see, all the panels they have a smaller under section. So we're going to follow those sections starting over here. Adriel, this is what connects the plane on the satellite position. It's already on. Primary flight computers, okay, we're going to turn that on and we're going to continue going down. This is the electrical panel. Right now we have no engines running, but we do have the power coming from the airport. So we're now going to turn the APU. We're going to click to start, and the APU will take some time to warm it up, and then we'll provide the power. APU is that little exhaust pipe you see at the plane's tail. Okay, every plane has one. Right now, we're getting power from the primary exterior power. Once APU is on, which is already on, you can see here APU running. Okay. Continue down is all the electrical power. We're no longer using the primary exterior power. I'm going to turn that off. Here down below, we have all the electrical buses, okay, which is all on standby until we have more power going on. Going back up here, okay, we have the reset arm electronics on. It's closed. That's fine. We have the emergency lights, which we're going to put it on. We have the oxygen mask in case we have an emergency, we can override the system. Now you see all those important buttons that they don't want us to press wrongly, we have a little cover case. Window heat for us, one, two, three, four, window heats are on, ram air turbine. This is something that is very, very cool. In case of electrical failure, we can open this and it's like a little fan that will come down underneath the plane and with the plane speed will rotate and will generate enough power for us pilots only. The rest of the plane will be dark but we still have power to land the plane. Hydraulic pumps. We have four hydraulic pumps. As you can see they are still shut down and those are the valves then we have the seatbelt signs on. Some of the planes, they don't have no more. The smoking sign. We're going to put the passenger signs, seatbelt signs on. We have the lights for us. We have the storm light. And we have some lights for the overhead panels as well. We can dim out, dim on for more electricity or less illuminated uh, lights for us. Here. We have the landing lights on the outside of the plane. Going back up again, we have the cargo, fire, and we also have the fire test. When I press it here, you can see the APU lights up. Also, the two engines lit up, and we have the fire test seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means all the, all the fire alarms would come up. So it's good. This is the discharge for the cargo, aft and forward. Then we have the engines over here. So engine start. Okay. We then have <clears throat> the fuel Jackson, which is in case of emergency, we can dump the fuel. Now, once again, important buttons, they are covered. Going down below, we have the fuel pumps. Two pumps on the left tank two pumps on the right tank, two pumps on the center tank. And in case we need it, we can cross feed the fuel from one tank to another. Now, if, I, if you see the green lines here, I'm going to change it over there for the fuel. And you can see here the engines. Now, the only line that is green, it's actually the APU. So the APU is on. It's getting 
fuel from the left tank, all the other pumps, pumps are still up. If I turn them on, which I'll do now, you'll see the green lights will start to come in the screen. All right, anti-ice, very important. We usually live on auto. In case we have a cold a storm winter, we can live on on, just in case on the ground, and the rest of the flight will live on auto. Here down below, we have the Beacon Nav logo and wing lights up. Those are the outside flashing lights on the plane. The last one that we only turn it on once we get to the runway is the strobe light. Strobe light is the white strong light flashing. We only turn it on once at the runway and in flight. Taxi lights, tails by itself, runway lights, and those are the landing lights we talked about. Going back up again here, now we have the voice recorder, which is on auto. This is very important, mandatory. We have the air conditioning here. When we have the packs, the bleed air, all the temperatures we can change <coughs> into the planes in different sections. Pressurization, it's already on auto. We can do manually, we can open the valves, we can despressurize the plane in case we need it. Windshield wiper, I missed on the left, sorry. That's for the captain and that's for the FO. We don't have a windshield wiper here because we don't have rain on the simulator, but actually that's something that the plane has. So that will complete our overhead panel.